When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his coming zone, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with Rest in peace, the speaker knockers, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wish me. It's the speaker knockers. It's the speaker knockers. It's the speaker knockers. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're going to be talking about speaker knockers. All right, so look, man. Now, first and foremost, uh, rest in peace to Speaker Knock. The guy was incredibly talented, right? Sometimes I forget he was only 19 years old when he uh, passed away. He had his own record label. He produced all of his own beats. He engineered all of his own music. Like, again, 19 years old, that's insane. Especially way back in 2014. You know, 2014, 2013. Now, fast forward until 2023. It might be more common to see a 19-year-old making their own music, producing their own beats, running their own label, etc. But in 2014, that was unheard of, man. Outside of uh, Soldier Boy and Speaker Knockers, I really can't think of anyone else. So the guy was ahead of his time. Even with his sound, I honestly don't think it will be any uh, Little Uzi, uh, A Boogie, Lil TJs, Lil Tucker, even uh, Rowdy Rich. I feel like all of these people I just named are just uh, like evolutions of speaker knock. Even the uh, Canadian guy, what's his name? Uh, Nav. His sound is everywhere for sure. But here, uh, nine years after his death, his mom, she did an interview over on a platform named Drea O. And she went into detail a little, uh, clearing up some of the rumors about speaker knocker's death. Because one of the biggest theories that was going around was it was a drug overdose. People was trying to say that uh, he overdosed on lean. And she said that was 100% false. Uh, no traces of drugs was found in his system. And the other angle that's pretty popular as well, uh, people were saying that he had a heart attack. And they was wondering how did the 19 year old have a heart attack? But she debunked that theory as well. Uh, she said he didn't have a heart attack. But with that being said, that still leaves us with the question. What happened to Speaker Knock? She said she wasn't ready to talk about it yet. And Speaker Knocker's dad and brother, they recommend to her not to speak about it uh, just yet as well. So as you can see, it seems to be a pretty uh, sensitive subject. She did say in the future she, she'll speak on it and let the fans finally know what exactly happened to him. And if she does that, it'll be in the documentary. Now, I'm not gonna throw my theories around, but it does leave me a bit curious, man, because the two things that people were trying to say caused his death, his mom just clarified and said, it was neither of those. Now, there has been this other theory uh, that isn't as popular as these two, but I saw a few people saying that he actually passed away from uh, carbon monoxide. For some reason, he was in the garage with the car running. And as you guys know, carbon monoxide in a uh, closed environment, like a garage, that'll be a recipe for disaster. But even that theory, though, his mom kind of just uh, debunked that one as well. Because if he didn't have drugs in his system, he wasn't leaned out or anything, he could have easily just got out of the car and walked outside of the garage. I mean, it only takes like uh, two minutes before the carbon monoxide will become threatening if you were sitting inside of a garage. Maybe even less than that. So I don't know, man. This is just one of those things we gotta wait around and see. But uh, outside of that, they do own all of Speaker Knocker's music. Because of course, as I said in the beginning of the video, he owned his own label. He was independent. So y'all keep running his music up. And that's wild to think of, right? Because again, this was 2014. This guy was 19 years old and his mind was already going the independent route right now that rappers today are just figuring out. He died at 19 years old, right? He owned all of his masters, all of his publishing, and he's still able to feed his family right now today. He was definitely ahead of his time. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man.
Hey man, follow me on Instagram at TZF Baby two five two. Where's some piece of speaking up? I'm gone. Bitch, I'm in the street. Bitch, I'm in the street. Fuck this in the street.